What's up, everybody? Jesse Burdick back here for Power Water in our weekly wrap up. Here is um, the Bill doing a little bit of uh, rep work, sumo style. Here's our man, Moneymaker Mike, who just started a, a new website, m3studios.co. So if you need any sort of work uh, done as far as pictures or anything, uh, feel free to jump on there. Check it out, please. There I am. This is actually, believe it or not, my terrible outfit Tuesday. Um, outfit that was actually my father's day present for my girls there's a unicorn uh, iron on patch to those shorts and they drew all over this shirt for me it was uh and they found that headband somewhere too and of course on father's day you're supposed to get some sort of stupid tie so that's what they got me and it was pretty special it was pretty cool here we have broken to sean uh i worked up to about 80 Five percent or so, I think, off of the floor, and then what he did is he just started to add some deficit. Here is Lars doing the uh, suspended good mornings versus chains with me. This is always um, <clears throat> sounds odd, but it, we use it as a deload here. About every three weeks, we go squat, deadlift, and then a good morning. This is just absolutely just terribly, horribly brutal, though. Here's uh, Jessica Fitzgibbons doing some Anderson squats or bottoms up squats. As they're called, they're rightfully called Anderson after Paul Anderson, uh, world famous strongman. Uh, but she is, and she also does something really interesting here when she uh, starts to get out, kind of duck walks out, which is usually interesting. I think that's because she was kind of stuck a little bit lower. But here's Sean again. He's on um, a one mat deficit. This is about like an inch and a quarter, and uh, you're just working up triples until you can't do it anymore. Uh, here I am again going and doing um, the the good mornings we pretty much I think we ended up with like 400 pounds and like a ridiculous amount of chain at the top like 400 pounds or something along those lines and what we did because we have the um, the easy chain straps from elitefitness.com uh, or elitefts.com excuse me uh, we were able to load it in different kind of waves some are off the floor there some are not on the floor they're just loading in different um, different spots here um, here's Sean on uh, it's like about a two and a half inch deficit. Kind of hard to tell. The black kind of just runs into each other. Uh, the black man. Here is Moneymaker Mike, who started on a deficit and actually worked him worked himself up to a um, to a block pull. This is a three three mat block pull. And here is just an um, indication of how awesome Terrible Outfit Tuesday is and how much of a virus it really is becoming. The uh, oh, shit. The, the two on the left actually did not plan their outfits at all. She was in the CrossFit room and the Bill's back here. And yet they were able to nail it. Here's Sean. You can kind of see where that bar is starting. He's on a three or four inch or a three or four mat deficit at this point. My biggest concern here when he wanted to go up was making sure he didn't drop the bar in his toes. So he does a fancy dismount here at the end. It's either this one or the next one. Uh, he ended up doing, I think, a set of five on this one, which is really nice. Yep, that's a fancy dismount. So he didn't come close to hitting himself. Here we have Andrew. Andrew's been, um, he's getting ready for a meet. He, ex he has a blue band and a purple band on the bar right now. And he worked up to heavy single. Just working on it, trying to get him a huge uh, overload at the top. So he worked up to about 405 plus all those bands, which is, uh, which is a lot of weight at the top for him. And uh, is going to just allow him to um, get comfortable with that weight. Here we have Lars doing some like extra slow stiff leg deadlifts. Lars has an enormously strong lower back. So what we're trying to do here is make sure that he's feeling this weight, feeling the movement in his hamstring. Here I am doing some um, deficit snatch grip deadlifts. Uh, this is just, if you really hate yourself, this is a great exercise. As you can tell from my face, I'm having a lovely time. And on one of these, I don't totally lock it out that one. It kind of got caught on my package. So you got to kind of watch where that bar path is. But for sets of five and going, you know, moderately heavy, it's about as uh, effective but as terrible as a uh, exercise as you can. Here we have Nabil doing sets with uh, 230, which is a pretty good, um, it's about 80% or so for him. Broken toe Sean, starting to bench. This is a uh, work up to, what, 90%? This is Ninety percent, and we had a certain fifteen reps in as few sets as we could. Um, everyone really loved slash and or hated this, 
but it made a big difference. You know, I mean, it just really gets people to kind of see how, what they're supposed to strain with and how strong they are. There's the Spud Ink Belt, the pink Spud Ink Belt that uh, Broken Toshan loves to use. Makes them feel dainty, small, and um, sexy all at the same time. So thank you, Mark Bartley, for that. And we have a 365. I think it took uh, Sean probably about like seven or eight sets, which is about right. Um, oh, well, this is secret footage. We're not supposed to be showing this. This is slingshot, you know, secret footage. This is training yard footage right here of the new slingshot curl machine. The research and development here. And that's a picture of me, or there I am taking a video, or a picture of Mike taking a video, or a picture of... Nabil. Look out for Nabil on our uh, YouTube channel, uh, doing the curl corner, which is amazing. Here we have Swole Joel doing a little bit of accessory work, some close grip um, bench against chains uh, for over like 10 or 15 reps or so. This is a great exercise, really just smokes those triceps after a main movement. Here we have Drunk Ian. Uh, you can tell, you can really tell an Olympic lifter if, if by the proximity of some sort of chair to them. These guys are the laziest motherfuckers on the planet. Uh, the closer the chair, the better off it's going to be. Here I am with 420-ish? 405? Four, yeah, 420 in my bromance t-shirt from uh, Team Force. Here we have uh, the world-famous Rich Mothbart. Uh, you can see he kind of has, um, he, he chalked his feet here. He had a, um, a bad habit of starting either two... Um, he started way too wide. He thought he was a lot closer, so he kind of chopped his uh, feet. As you can see, almost each rep he starts to move out. His toes are actually in on the uh, inside of that circle there. Um, so he's just getting some rep work in, just working, uh, working on things. Here we have Broken Toe Sean. There's my uh, little girl, Sophia, in the background waving. Um, doing the invisible board press, a.k.a. the photo press, a.k.a. the 24-hour press, 24-hour uh, fitness press. This is a lot harder than uh, a lot of people uh, give it credit for, but it really does um, force you to hold different positions and be tight throughout a weird range of motion. And that's it. That's the wrap-up, guys. Thanks for watching. Spread us around. Like this. Subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Check out uh, the m3studios.co. Uh, appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Blam, there it is.